Happy Bunny Day, everyone! Hello, beautiful people! My name is Ellie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am very happy to be doing yet another collaboration with some amazing Animal Crossing content creators. This Easter collaboration will be between myself, Canada Crossing, Daffodil Place, Crossing Dragon, Electre, Fleur's Crossing, Honeyland Horizon, and Mum's Crossing. Their links and details will of course be in the description, so don't forget to check them out and show them a lot of love. So Fleur's Crossing came up with random build ideas related to Bunny Day or Easter and these were raffled off to us randomly. And I got the carrot farm, which I am very excited about. So if you've seen any of my prior videos at all, you would know that I did a farm core island right before this one that I'm currently working on. And honestly, I just really like doing farms in Animal Crossing. I think they're so cute and there's a lot of possibilities when it comes to building farms. So yeah, I just really like doing them, especially since we have the crops now. I was also very excited to use these custom designs for the cutout standees. They were created by another awesome content creator, PB Ponderosa. I will also leave her details in the description so you guys can go subscribe and show her a lot of love. And as you may or may not have noticed in the background, I moved in Ruby specifically for this purpose. I know that I didn't have to, I could have used any other of the houses of the villagers that I currently have, but I just love Ruby. I kind of miss her and she is perfect for Easter, so she's in there and even though she's not a dreamy for this island, um, I was just happy to have her for Easter. She's the best bunny. So, for this carrot farm, I decided to do a diagonal farm since I love those. And as you will see, I will go through a total of three different dirt paths just to see which one fit the aesthetic that I was going for here. Go ahead and take screenshots and also check the description. I will also put the codes in there as well as the socials of the creators. But what I was going for here is kind of a whimsical, over-the-top bunny day vibe, you know, very colorful and very bunny-filled, like very eggy, <laughs> is that a thing? It's just, you know, born out of the knowledge that I know a lot of people don't really like the bunny day items, hate bunny day even. Well, you know, it's not my favorite of the Animal Crossing holidays. I do think the items have the potential to be cute, to be aesthetically pleasing. So I just wanted to use a lot of them in here. I think my favorites would have to be the bunny day basket and the balloons as well as the bunny day bed even. And also because the build that was assigned to me randomly, Carrot Farm, is very simple. You know, it's just really a farm and I could go do whatever I want with it, I guess. So I thought I might as well go all out and go bright and bold. In comparison though, the other content creators were assigned some very unique and interesting build ideas, I think. So I will also put those in the description and yeah, don't forget to check them out as well. Okay, so back to bunny day. Zipper, creepy, I agree. The eggs spawning literally everywhere, a bit annoying, I must admit. But the items are cute, they're really cute. They're very colorful and I feel like they would really fit like maybe a spring island, a kid core island, 
you know they're just very fun to use i think so this is the pathing that i ended up going with i think it really fits the vibe that i was trying to go for at least so here is a little dining area for some reason whenever i do farms i can't help but build like a little eating seating space like a farm to table type of situation so i do know that this bunny garden decoration is not a bunny day item it's just a regular item that you can get from nux but i am still obsessed with this item so i do spam it literally everywhere on this build again we're going for whimsical fun bright and that's what these bunnies bring you know there's such such good items to use now i'm genuinely curious to know if any of you guys are still going to celebrate bunny day in game or easter in real life let me know in the comments below i am quite curious because all i hear are hate comments about super in the event so i kind of want to know if anyone's still playing it you know but as i said i really like that bunny day bed for some reason it's so cute and it's like it's almost ridiculous <laughs> how big it is and how random it is that it's just there's just a bunny day bed but it's so cute so this is me just adding a few more final touches and I am actually really happy with how this turned out. And then one of the last things I do is customize Ruby's exterior, although her house is white so it can fit anyway. I just wanted it to look a bit more rustic, a bit more fitting to the farm. So we do some more final touches before I show you the final product and honestly, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I know it's a very simple concept, you know, it's just a farm, but it makes me so happy. It's just so, so fun. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found some inspiration. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And don't forget to check out the channels of my amazing collaborators for this design challenge. Go subscribe to them, show their videos a lot of love. Also, let me know if you're planning on doing an Easter build on your island. I would love to know as well. And if you are celebrating Easter, I wish you a very beautiful Easter season. Again, thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day and I will see you again next time. Bye!